Candler joins us at the call of Crestview LCC tonight, so a short trip from the her to the station in a defensive battle. Uh, yeah, this was, I'm sure the both these coaches, both Coach Jeremy Best and Frank Hill, are going to look at the tape from this one, and the first thing they're going to look at is we're all going to do free throws in the morning. <laughs> Pretty bad. Uh, this was a team, both teams really struggled from the foul line tonight. Huh. Lima Central Catholic was 5 of 16 from the charity stripe. Crestview was 10 of 20. Wow. And it was one of those where it was really a situation where the game was up for grabs from the foul line and neither team could really cash in on it. But defensively also, uh, one of the positives were really how well the defenses played in this. There were a number of times where the offenses couldn't get going. A lot of that contributed was contributed by the defenses playing so well. Mm -hmm. Lima Central Catholic had an, a, an opportunity where more Crestview had the opportunity where it looks like they were gonna blow out LCC in this one and the Thunderbirds uh, were able to force a number of turnovers in about a four to five minute period that really kept them in this one up until the very end. That game will be at 11 here on TV 44. Fort Recovery versus Sales taking place on WOSN. I'm looking forward to watching that one because those two teams went toe to toe for recovery led after three, but for sales, very senior laden, they got the win. You know, what really impresses me is that there are so many good matchups across all the conferences. Like yeah. you really can't look at one conference and say, well, this conference is, you know, kind of down this year or this conference has all the great teams. I mean, just watching the, the standings yeah. and the matchups for recovery versus sales is going to be a good one. You know, the WBL is stacked, the MAC is stacked. Those are all going to be terrific races. The NWC, even though Crestview was out of their uh, conference tonight because LCC is no longer in there. Uh, Crestview and, and Spencerville is going to go down to the wire. Yeah. I was impressed with uh, Spencerville's, Spencerville's win tonight over Allen East. Uh, Mustangs have been gamers all season long. I know the record doesn't exactly reflect that, but it's, uh, it's going to be a really interesting rest of the uh, year in basketball. Fort Recovery versus Sales. Looking forward to uh, watching that one tonight when I go That's home. That's right. So still a chance to check that out. Thank you, Patrick. We finished strong with the Shelby County League highlight.